Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, you know, every now and then you kind of do a favor for, for people, you know. And I've got a neighbor lady uh, just up the road that is moving. They're selling their house and they're moving out. And she's got a, a plasma sh machine that they bought uh, They bought new. And she's getting ready to sell it. And she's wanting me to go ahead and bring it up here and check it out and make sure, you know, that it functions and everything. And she wanted to make sure that whenever she sold it to someone, she would be able to tell them what voltage requirements were. Because, you know, I think she's had people look at it that needed to have a single-phase machine. Other commercial places wanted it that, that needed to have a three-phase machine. So, so, I told her it could be one of the newer auto-ranging machines, but I didn't know for sure. So, I went ahead and brought it up here this morning. What it is, it's a Miller Spectrum 2050. It's a 55-amp uh, DC, DC power supply uh, uh, plasma cutting machine. And it is, in fact, an auto-ranging machine. This thing will take either single-phase or three-phase from 200, 208 volts uh, all the way to 575 volts, 50 cycle or 60 cycle power supply, and it will, depending on making sure you have the wires connected to the right terminals on the plug, it'll automatically select and control and operate to the voltage that you apply to it. Uh, that's really pretty cool. Now what I had to do, I went ahead and took the plug apart because we couldn't determine for sure how it was wired in at her place of business. So I pulled the plug apart, and the way the plug is wired, actually I got on the internet, went to the Meller site, and I downloaded a PDF manual on the machine, and found out the uh, wiring configuration for three phase and for single phase. So this is wired for three phase right here. Wiring for 240 volt single phase requires a black wire and a white wire going to your two outside terminals, and it requires a ground wire going to the ground terminal, and no neutral, does not require neutral at all. So what I'm going to do, because it's much easier for me to operate a single phase here in my shop, I'm going to go ahead and temporarily put a 50 amp, uh, 240 volt single phase plug on. And I'm going to wire it for a single phase, then I'll go ahead and fire it up and test it out. So what I did in anticipation, I took a scrap piece of number 6, 6-3, six, uh, at 6-2 with ground SO cord, and went ahead and wired on a 50 amp, 240 volt uh, single phase plug and I'm going to take this off and note what connections they are and make sure that note goes with the machine and, uh, and then hook it up with the black and the white and the green for 240 volt single phase temporarily on my plug here that will match my receptacle here. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to plug it in and we're going to go ahead and uh, see if it makes sparks fly. I think the machine's got a couple of years on it. You know, I don't know that it's a brand new machine. Uh, obviously, it's got a little wear and tear on it, you know, but it's got a protective cover on it and everything, and it's uh, really actually a pretty good machine. So, yeah, let's go ahead and wire this on and see what happens. When you download the PDF, go to page 15, I think it is, that'll give you the wiring requirements. And in that, in that uh, I'm not going to trim these off because this is only temporary, so I can test it out for my neighbor lady, but in those instructions, it'll show you to make sure that if you're using single phase power supply, make sure you use the factory supplied SO cord that's actually factory mounted on that end and just left with bare wires hanging on this end. Make sure you use the black and the white wires for the 240 volt power supply with the green wire for the ground with no neutral and just tape off the unused other leg. This here would be the third the third wire that you use for three phase. Now when I said earlier that this was connected for three phase and also remember earlier when I said it was auto ranging when it is wired in the configuration which it was on that plug, you can apply any three phase voltage, 208, uh, 230, 460, all the way up to 575 volts, 50 or 60 cycle, three phase. And so now I'll be able to go ahead and plug this in once I put the cap back on here, put this back on correctly, and uh, I'll tighten this up, and then I'll be able to plug this into my power supply. We'll turn it on and we'll see if we make sparks fly in a good way. This is just going to be uh, just a few minutes we're going to have this on. Then we're going to go back to the original, the original plug. I'm going to go ahead and power up the plug, check voltage, make sure I've got the correct voltage. We'll plug this in, turn it on, and see what happens. But i got to get an air supply over to it first. They've got the power supply on. i got the uh, air pressure connected to it. I don't know that much about this, if this is auto-controlling uh, auto with the pressure uh, or not. But we're going to find out. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to leave it set for 45 amps. This is a 55 amp machine. I'm going to leave it set for 45 amps. And I think I'm going to try to cut off just a piece of quarter inch metal. 
And one thing that you got to remember is that uh, these things give off a phenomenal amount in the uh, blue blue spectrum of the uh, ultraviolet light uh, waves. I don't know anything about that, but I know that the blue spectrum is the most damaging to your eyes. So you have to make sure you have the correct and proper um, eye protection on it, you know, to make sure you don't penetrate your eyes with that blue wave radiation. So I'm going to turn the power on. We're going to see what happens. Okay, we've got air pressure. Uh, we've got power. It says everything is ready. There's no alarm uh, alarm showing. I assume this is going to be a pressure regulator. I don't know that for a fact, uh, but I'm going to leave it set at 45 amps um, out of a 55 amp maximum setting and go ahead and cut a piece of quarter inch uh, hanger material. Well, um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's going to work just fine. Yeah, I think it's a pretty doggone good machine. And like I said, it is single phase or three phase, either one. Uh, it does not matter. It takes care of it itself. You just have to make sure you go to the wiring diagram uh, in the PDF and make sure you connect the correct wire colors on the pigtail that comes shipped from the factory attached inside the unit and attach that to the power supply that you decide you're going to use. So here it is, back with the original plug that was on it whenever I brought it up here. Hooked back up the exact way it was hooked up. So it's hooked up for three phase, auto ranging, anything you want. But whoever buys it, I would suggest them taking this off, verifying the wire colors according to the wiring diagram that's in the PDF from Miller, and wiring in the appropriate plug to go with the appropriate receptacle they have for their power supply, be it single phase or three phase. That's what I would recommend. But like I said, the SO cord that comes with the machine is factory wired inside here on the terminal strip and you must go by the color code of the wires and the wiring diagram to hook it up correctly. So it's no longer running on single phase. I only ran it single phase temporarily so I could test it here. It's back in the configuration that it was originally. And it's one cutting devil. I was really shocked at how quickly and easily uh, it just blew right through there. Of course I had it set for 45 amps. I could probably have it set for 30 amps for that thin of material and it probably would have cut it just as well. That's neither here nor there. That's just learning the little things about the machine of which I'm not really that good with plasma. <laughs> so at any rate, this is Trackman 44 and I'm out of here guys.